we want to tell how we have experienced Turkey from a cyclist point of view, touring cyclist point of view. Yeah, not, uh, not an airplane charter holiday, but from a biker's point of view. We actually knew nothing about Turkey when we entered Turkey. Um, Andrew has read that it was uh, the seventh best country in the world to bike in, that touring cyclists have voted the seventh best country. Uh, but we didn't know nothing about it. And without knowing anything, I just expected it to be up and down mountains and really bad roads and really deserted and only tiny little villages with mm. farmers here and there and really remote and rough. But that was not true at all. Uh, we chose to go through the uh, the middle, which turned out to be really a valley. Mm. Or First, pl yeah. we have been on yeah. for uh, a long time. So it was really good, not too hilly at all. And we have cycled on very good roads. We stayed mainly on the, on the main roads. Uh, but they have been good to bike on. There has been a lot of traffic, but they've been like a wild like side band. That means yeah, a hot spore in Danish that we could uh, bike on. So mm. that has uh, been good. And the roads have been very good for good yeah. tarmac almost yeah, yeah. all the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've been mainly on big roads, yeah. yeah. But Turkey is a big country and a big country for bikers. <laughs> yeah. I think when we saw the map at first and we had to cross all the way from the, from the west to the east, it was 2,020 kilometers long is what we will cycle when we finished today. So we expected two months biking. Yeah. And we've done it in what? 47 days so just under <laughs> but it's a big country for bikes yes so one one thing i'd read about before we actually arrived was that the people were extremely friendly but uh also heard about this from people who've been on the holidays here but i didn't actually know whether it was true or not but um we uh found out pretty quickly that actually it was <laughs> that lots of people have helped us and been uh, smiling and waving and helping us whenever they can well they try and help too much maybe but sometimes we don't need the help but uh, they always try their best to help and do whatever they can so uh... yes and now we will now i want to say how the friendly people are they are very friendly they want to talk to you and they want to help you when you stop and i think when you stop the Every time the people are waving and trying to wave us over to the to the people, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. want to talk to us yeah. and uh, yeah. what's it called? Yeah. Papping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, papping their horns. Yeah. 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 when they yeah. drive past us, yeah. waving and waving, yeah. make us every, feel extremely welcome. Really do. Yeah. Every day there are uh, cars that are uh, saying beep beep on the mm. doodle. Mm. To us, yeah. so it's very kind. And yeah. Actually, it's on the big roads, mm. so it's a little bit good. Yeah. 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 So, actually, the people is what's made Turkey extremely nice place to bike through. Yes. So, especially when we're traveling like we are, with the amount of help that yeah. we get, extremely good. Extreme kindness and yeah. hospitality. And generosity. Th yes, generosity. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're given fruit and free food and. Yeah, all kinds yeah. of things, and they don't expect any payment for it. They're not doing it to get money. So um, we've given up trying to offer them money because they just won't accept it, and they just seem to be more offended that you try even even offer them something. Mm -hmm. So so we don't haven't done that for the last few days. But, uh, another good thing with Turkey is there's lots of attractions to see. If you like history and uh, historical sites, then there's a lot of those, especially in the western part of Turkey with Ephesus and uh, other places we visited. Cappadocia, extremely interesting place. Yeah. So. Nice landscape, but not, we haven't seen seen some, any attractions really here in the east. But no. still, it's been nice that we have we have enjoyed a lot coming into the different towns and seeing what they've been like and been mm. different. And we still find really nice hotels and yeah, yeah. nice towns, but also we have enjoyed the more primitive towns and. Mm. Yeah, both have been good. Yeah, yeah. And seeing the differences between the big cities, they have changed a lot. Just yeah. from one to the next within 200 kilometers and they're completely different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And we have seen many places in Turkey, they are begin to make lots of houses, more bigger houses and luxury houses. So it's begin to be maybe more new. Yeah, mm. so nice new apartment yeah. blocks we have so seen. So maybe yes. uh, they want, maybe when every people we are telling about Turkey is very good. Maybe the other people that wants to live in Turkey because it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And there's camping. We've been uh, staying.
stayed in quite a few toll tolls, but we've also been camping as well. Well camping is allowed here, so we've uh, done that many places. It was only a short section just before we got to Ezra, that we had to be careful of bears, otherwise it's been fine everywhere, we felt safe everywhere. So um, that's been really good to wild camp in Turkey. But not so many good places as here. There's no real campsites, you have to find the... Uh, and also, it's been nice places, but also a lot of rubbish just thrown around, even mm. though there's containers and people just thrown the rubbish. Yeah. So that's a bit of a shame, but... But we have also found very nice places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're allowed to, aren't you? So they don't mind you putting your tent up in places. So. Not many real camping sites. There's only been a few. Two. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's also some that we could have stayed in but didn't choose to because the hotel was the same price as the camping site. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Two two real campsites and we turned away because the price was crazy. Yeah. 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 More in the in the west and the east, a lot of dogs. Mm. And also some chasing us on their bikes, but they haven't. Heard us that have just been barking. Uh, yeah. And we had barking dogs in the night and the daytime. They seem more quiet when the nighttime they've been barking. Mm. But they haven't been in any trouble apart from a bit of noise. Yeah. And here in the east, we haven't seen so many dogs, so, but of course, it's also more remote here. So. Yeah, we had one yesterday, but only chased us down the road for 200 meters. So, um, yeah. yeah, nothing like nothing like Greece. That was lots of dogs, lots of noise. So in the west, yeah, it hasn't been a problem as such. Oh. But it was a bit. A bit annoyed with the noise in the night sometimes. Mm. I will say more over here in the west, east, yeah, east, in the east yeah. yeah, in the east there are more farmers' fields and more cows and sheep that yeah. have been on the roads, because sometimes there was a big far uh, farmer they have taken all the sheep over the all the road and there was cows and small mm. cows and everything, so it was really funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, Turkey is an Islamic country, so this is our first real introduction to a real um, Islamic Muslim country. So that was interesting to see. Mosques everywhere, something like 80,000 mosques. So every night, even though we're camping in places that we think now we're far away from everything, at half past nine, you hear a mosque. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we've actually quite enjoyed it. I quite in, enjoy listening to the yeah. uh, call to prayer in the morning and uh, in the evening and the other five times a day when it is. So. And we've been here in, in Ramadan, halfway through the time we was here, Ramadan started, so... Yeah, I think there's a little change, people seem to be a little bit less energetic uh, during the day and just slumbering around, but... Uh, changes from place to place, some place you feel it a lot, other places you don't even know there's Ramadan, so... Um, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah, but... Uh, we won't actually be here to see the end of celebrations when it's like a big party atmosphere, we'll miss that. It's never going to two uh, Christian countries, so... Um. But yeah, anything else? Cheap countries, pretty cheap. Hotels are half the price of they are in England, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. We actually could stay in hotels whenever we um, had need for that. So, uh, cheap country. You can eat uh, a whole dinner. You've been seeing these big dinners we've been eating in Turkish restaurants cost £10 or so for all the food you can eat. So... Yeah. No alcohol in the restaurant? No alcohol. That. We haven't had any alcohol. One glass of beer we had in... Uh, Gurim in the Chinese restaurant, Turkish restaurants you don't see alcohol and you don't see anybody drinking alcohol. Um, even though you find tins of beer in a lot of the parks. So they must be drinking it yeah. in the in the, what's it, disguise or whatever they're called. <laughs> but other than so, restaurants, no, you no. can drink water, Coca-Cola or Iron. Uh, Iron that you got thing. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's it I think really. Yes. Definitely water recommend. Water is very cheap in here. Oh, water is very cheap. That yes. five litre dunk that you saw Jamie drinking yesterday, that cost 30 pence. Yeah, so, so it's very cheap. So maybe it's very hot and tricky. Drink mm. lots of water. It's very cheap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. If we think of anything else, we'll probably add it on later. But, uh, now we're going to try and get to Georgia today. But, uh, Turkey, very good place yes. for cycling. It's maybe not an adventure, it's probably more just uh, an experience of experiencing the people and the culture. But, uh, extremely good place. Really enjoyed it. Very big place, but very good to bike. Okay. Yes. We'll go and see if we can get back away and get on the road to Georgia. Georgia. Yes. Is it time for a, a wave dance? Wave dance for two. Nice landscape. <laughs> I'm so <sorry. laughs> <laughs> I need to change it on. It's not easy holding a camera at one <laughs> meter's distance. <laughs> Five minutes. Nice.